hello, hello. And before anybody tells me, I know I got a low tire, so don't be like watching the video and go, oh, you got a low tire. I know that. I'm poor, I gotta buy tires. So anyway, I grew up on Tennessee River. Sublets, uh, it was a little, used to be a ferry landed. You rode four wheeler off the mountain, down this logging road, it was like rocks and washouts and you had to be pretty decent four wheeler rider to get down to it. So we would, I, biggest part of my summers and weekends and days off and anything else, apologize for the shakiness, but this road is awesome. Biggest part of my days I spent riding four wheeler in the mud on the side of that mountain down by the Tennessee River. And so there, there's one place around this huge mud hole that was like butthole deep to a giraffe. Literally, I seen a giraffe in it and like every time he farted it would bubble. So they made a trail around it and it went down through this little swamp and it was really flat bottom and it was pretty cool. There was this vine there like a grapevine, I guess, maybe, some giant poison ivy vine. I don't know, that's not the point of the story. Anyway, so I'm riding with friends, we're down there and I'm thinking, I'm gonna look real cool if I'm riding down through this flat place here. I grab a hold of the vine and I swing off like Tarzan. And then the four-wheeler will keep rolling and I will like slowly glide back to my feet safe and sound but it will look cool like something you see in a movie indiana jones or something you know so i guess you guys still know who that is anyway so my friends are behind me and we're hauling butt down through there and i grab this vine and i get let go of the four-wheeler with both hands i grab this vine with conviction hey i'm tarzan i'm gonna swing this heifer so i swing my momentum from the four-wheeler carries me way up into the air. Well, the four-wheeler, I mentioned this was in a swamp, right? So the four-wheeler didn't roll like I anticipated. The four-wheeler actually went about 15 foot and stopped, like in a mud hole, which is ironically exactly the 15 foot it took me to swing up and for that vine to break. So, like, I come crashing back on top of the four-wheeler. Knocks the breath out of me. And I'm laying there like, Ugh! this weird sound was like, Whoa! and I realized it was me. So, like, I hit and it knocks the breath out of me. And, like, this vine, it falls from the moon. I mean, there's so much vine. I'm, like, covered in vine. It keeps falling and this two-inch piece of grapevine or whatever poison ivy or I don't know what kind of vine. Anyway, it keeps falling on me like whacking me in the head and I'm in this big pile of vine and four-wheeler and I roll off into the mud and I'm like covered in vine and mud and like the kind of friends I had, you think I'd be like, oh my god, are you okay, dude? No. The kind of friends I had, after the noise of dulled down, I could hear laughter. And not just like, hey, are you okay, dude? I mean like, pee your pants. They fell off of their four-wheelers laughing, laughter. So th that's the kind of friends I had. But the moral of the story is, don't try to look cool. Didn't do something stupid because it don't always work. I did get a good laugh out of it, but I also hurt. And it's not altogether a horrible story. I mean, I did recover. I uh, got back on the four-wheeler, dusted myself off, and gathered my arms and legs and put my eyeball back in my head. And we took rattlesnake teeth and stitched my skull back together. And on three wheels, I rode back out with a wobbly wheel and it was great but I didn't make it back to civilization and it had no lasting lasting effects on uh, oh, 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 on me so I love y'all have a good day